This week on Wednesday Wisdom, we're really excited. You see, Jason and I have had it on our hearts for a long time to talk through an entire book of the Bible here on Wednesday Wisdom. And we're going to start that today. Uh, we're going to go through the book of 2 Timothy, and he and I are going to kind of tag team it from different angles as we go through. We may cover different material each week. We may even spend a couple weeks talking about the same thing from different perspectives. First off, before we start this, I want you to give this video a like if you think that's a good idea and if you're excited about it and want to join us on that journey. Now, anytime you're talking about Timothy and Paul, Paul wrote the book of 2 Timothy as a letter to Timothy. You're talking about one word in my mind and that's discipleship, right? Paul was discipling Timothy on his journey with Christ and, and teach him how to be a better Christ follower. And this book is just encouraging uh, Timothy while Paul is in prison, probably for the last time of his life. He may never even see Timothy again. And this book starts out talking about night and day, how he constantly remembers Timothy. And he remembers that last time they saw each other. Uh, Paul was actually getting yanked off to prison and it was kind of a heartbreaking moment. And they were both in tears thinking, hey, this might be the end and we've been on this great journey together. I wanna pause right here and invite you to take this journey through the book of Second Timothy with somebody else. In other words, disciple them. You see, every one of us should have discipling going on in our life. We should all have a Timothy who we're teaching, who we're bringing along in the faith, and we should all have a Paul, someone who is encouraging us in the faith and helping us in our walk, helping us to be a better Christ follower, somebody who challenges us. And I'd like you to maybe tag that person in the comments down there that maybe you want to go on this journey with or who you currently are on a journey with. To follow Christ with and discipling each other or somebody you want to thank um, just to invite them on this journey we're going to be on here uh, again again continuing in this book uh, verse 7 is a is a hallmark verse it says for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity but the power of love and self-discipline and that's discipleship self-discipline to take the intentional time to spend with someone encouraging them in their walk in Christ or getting encouragement when you need it. A lot of times we like to just hole up and go into ourselves and, and don't seek out other people to walk in Christ with us, just like Paul and Timothy did. Man, they were partners there. And, and when they struggled, they were there for each other and pushing each other to be the best Christ followers they could be. And that's where I'm going to end it for today. Just very briefly, we just basically worked through the first seven verses of, of 2 Timothy. Look for that partner. Look for who you can go on this journey with and disciple. So I'm going to, I'm going to challenge you with this. One, who is your Timothy? Do you have somebody that you're pouring into? And number two, who's your Paul? Who's pouring into you? Who's building you up? Who's strengthening you? Who's challenging you in your walk with Christ? Jason will continue next week and we look forward to that.